Hi, good afternoon. My name is Monsa Clara. I am the founder of Hope Spring Eternal Introduction. Founder of Ngosi Talk Show. So my topic today is the real reason of relationship fails. So why do relationship fails? Why most relationship fail most of the time? Relationship fail because of not knowing who you are in that relationship. So if you enter a relationship and you actually don't know who you are as a person and you don't know your worthiness in that relationship that means your relationship is not going to work because you have to know as a person you have to know who you really are as a person you have to have uh, principles in place some people believe that uh, putting the rules in place in our in a relationship it works. Rules don't work in a relationship. You have to have a principles. Create your own principles and your character. If you want a, a long-lasting relationship, a serious relationship, you have to have a character that goes with what you, you desire in life. So if it is a serious relationship that you want, so you have to have a character that goes with it. So when you are born as a child, your parents will help you to create the image that they believe is the right image for you. And they will plant the beliefs and the values in your life. So that doesn't mean it's wrong. That's what they believe. That's what your parents believe. So they have to raise you based on their beliefs and based on their values. So when you become an adult, it is up to you now that you have to actually, you have to create your own values. You have to create your own beliefs. You have to create your, your own character as a human being. You start by looking at who you are as a person, who you are. Your friends you are surrounded by, are they the right friends in your life? What results are you getting in your life with the image that you are accepting in your life? Is your relationship fulfilled? within and the person you are dating are they your king are they your queen can you actually speak life about your lover when you are out could you actually speak with grace could you actually embrace that relationship that you have with your lover hey Mali, how are you doing i send you a text you didn't reply to me I hope you're good. So you have to understand when you are in a relationship, you have to understand that a, a relationship is not a game. Some people treat a relationship as a game. It's, it's not a game. When you are in a relationship, you have to understand that you are in a relationship with someone in your life. You actually have accepted that person in your life to spend the rest of your life with them. When you treat your relationship as a, like a game, you have rules. You, you have rules in place in your relationship. You, take, you tell your spouse that you take the trash out today. I took the trash out last week. That means you have rules, you are competing. That means your relationship is heading in trouble. That means you are treating your relationship like a competition, meaning it's heading to break up. Relationship cannot have rules. It has principles in place. 
it has to have principles. You tell your spouse that you went out with your friends last week. I'm going out with my friends this week. What's that? That can destroy your relationship because your spouse will feel like they're competing with you. It's a competition. But if your spouse went out last week, they had fun, let, it, let them have fun. Let them hold to the good memories that they have. If it's your time to go out and you feel that I'm going out this week, why don't you just say, okay, honey, are you home tonight? If you have kids, are you home tonight? Is it okay for you to look after the kids? Um, uh, I'm thinking of arranging a girl's night or going out with my friends and just find out if your spouse is busy, you can ask the grandparents. If the grandparents are busy or your spouse says I'm busy, I'm going out. You're not competing with your spouse. If they are going out that weekend, you just say, okay, get somebody in, a babysitter to look after the kids. You don't say you went out last week. So that means it is my turn to go out this week with my friends. That it feels like a competition. It feels like if you are competing for time, you are competing for money, you are competing emotionally resources. But if you have the principles in place, you cannot have intimate relationship based on competition. And that happens both parties will end up feeling unappreciated they end up feeling disappointed, unsatisfied, and couples will end up disconnected and frustrated. And the other person will be lonely. You don't want your spouse to be lonely. You don't want that. When you are in a relationship with someone, it's, 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 it's beautiful. It's a joy to have someone in your life. It's a, it's, it's, it's a joy, you and your spouse. It's a joy to have that person. And when you have kids, it's a joy to have that beautiful family together. What can you do to be connected and be in the present in your relationship? You will need to understand that your relationship is not a game. You will need to understand you that, that you and your spouse has become whole. You become one. When you are with someone, you become one. Like Tony Robbins says, you worship your spouse. When you are in a relationship with someone, you have to worship them. You, are in, you enter that relationship to relate with their, in their world. You enter a spirit of love. You have to relate in their world what they've been through. You relate to them, you connect to them, you have to understand what makes them cry, understand everything, what makes them happy, why they believe in the things that they believe. They believe in their beliefs, the politics, why they love politics so much, what makes them happy, the things that they love, why do they believe in those things. Thus, you worship in that person. Taking the trash out, it takes one second. Sometimes I go joking. And when I come back, only I know my subconscious mind knows that. It's Wednesday today, tomorrow, and the bin is going out. It takes me 10 seconds to actually pull the bins and put it on the road for the bin man to come the next day. And I know that when I'm pulling that bin, putting it where it should be for the bin man to collect it, I know that somebody else is doing the work in the house. It's not a competition. I'm not competing with anyone. And I know that every work that I do will be rewarded with, uh, with the good things, good energy, with the good energy. So it is not a competition. When you are in a relationship, it's not a competition. Somebody is helping in the house. You are doing other things. The changes that you need in your relationship.
to make those changes first, you need to live in that character. You need to live in that character. How you make those changes will be the critical component for your spouse to be who they want to be by aligning peace, the peace of your character, making sure you eliminate, eliminate doubt, anger. When your energy has peace, joy, happiness, and freedom in your soul, your spouse will hear your needs. They will hear your desires. You don't have to voice it out loud. Because you have peace, there is freedom. They will know what they need to do. Some people might say, but you don't say you don't understand. But my spouse does not do anything in the house. Yes, I do understand. Your energy, your character, live in that character. The children will follow you, your character. Your spouse will follow your character. The energy that you are bringing into your life, that freedom in your, your, your spouse will hear it. They will hear your needs, they will hear your desires, and they will save you how you want them to save you without you having to voice it out loud. They will tell you because you are actually, uh, you are actually bringing a good energy into your relationship. They will come back home and they'll be like, honey, what would you like me to do today? I know you've done this, 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 this. How, how, what, what would you like me to do? That is your energy. But when you scream, some people have some talking problems. Shout, compete. I did this, you didn't do nothing. That's a competition. But if you serve with grace, your spouse will serve you and give you more love more compassion, your love life will shine and you, you will build your relationship daily with grace because a relationship is not just, it's not built once. It's a daily thing that you have to, uh, you have to build it. You have to build your relationship step by step. Every day you grow in that relationship, your relationship will be fulfilled. your personal appearance, when you look at all these areas on the outside, you will feel that in, in, inside within you are fulfilled. Your, your outside world will reflect what's on the inside, your inner world, or the image that is, is being fulfilled by your character. Whatever you show on the outside, that's what's on the inside. When you show the screaming and shouting in your relationship, some people believe that screaming and shouting and blaming and competing and saying, I did this, you didn't do this, that is the way. It is not the way for a relationship to work. So now we come to build a character. You have your own relationship. Hi, David. I, everyone that is watching, you can ask some questions or you can challenge me. I'm cool with it. So now we come to a character of a, a relationship or a relationship to work. You have to have a character. A long-term relationship. Anyone that has been married for a long time will tell you that they had to have a character and live in that story. If you want a relationship to work, you're going to have to live in that character. Even what I do on Facebook, when you see me speak, that's my character at home. I cannot say what I do at home. It is none of your business. It is my character. For me, it is my character and it is your business. If I'm telling you, if I'm coming here and I'm saying I'm impacting you, my character has to reflect of who I am as a person my inner world, whether I'm at home, whether I'm outside. So when I speak, that's what I, that's how, that's my character at home. I'm living in that story. And most people enter relationship not knowing who they are. 
their characters, their image. They accept things that does not align with their core values and, they, and, and their beliefs. You want people to affirm who you are. You are in a relationship. You want people to affirm your love and your relationship. Is it good enough? You introduce them to your family. You actually want your family to affirm, to approve that person. But you've already selected the person. You've already asked, said to yourself, this person is enough for me. All your family got to do is they got to wish you love and say we are behind you. But some families may not accept your lover. You have to, your lover has to earn the right to be in that family. Anyone that enters my life, they have to earn the right to be accepted by my family because my family have known me for a very long time. So this is the person that appears and I'm introducing the person to my family by meaning that it means they have to treat me like a queen. They have to treat me well so my family can be happy. So if I enter a relationship with somebody who is abusive, my family will not be happy if I'm being abused in that relationship. So my family, they're gonna want to know, are you here to stay? or you are just entering using our child. So those are the questions that families ask. But some families are actually bonkers. So that doesn't mean you have to go bonkers with them. You have to accept your lover and your family will follow you. If they're being bonkers towards your lover, you have to put them on the side. Let them see that your lover is a lovely person. So that's why some relationships don't work. We depend on other person to complete us. We want our lover to complete us. We depend on the other person. For me, I'm a believer in fulfillment, but I don't believe that a human being can actually complete me. Good love requires good self-image within. Right thinking, right mindset, right character. And this love is very, very powerful. When you have a good character of what you desire in life, you have a character even in business. You have to have a character of what kind of people you want to hang around with. You have to have that character and the character has to align with your values. And that love is powerful. When you hear, when you hear a man or a woman tell their lover, you complete me. That means the relationship has been through dark times. It's been through trials and tribulations. And both men and women have stood by their relationship. When they look at each other, all they see is joy because they've gone through trials together and they are still together. The unshakable, that love becomes the unshakable. The unshakable love, love with confidence. Whatever is being thrown at you, you know that I'm gonna climb the mountain with unshakable energy and gratitude. Spiritually, they are connected, both spouse, they are connected. When you embrace your insecurities in a relationship, you embrace your character, your shame, your identity, that means your relationship will work. Because you understand that no one is perfect in relationships. Everyone is wounded. Most of the time, we want people to detect our identity. We complete, we compete with people. We want to change everything outside, not changing our inside world. We see someone, they're looking good, dressed up nicely. They speak big words, but inside they're broken. Change what's, what's going on on the inside first, then your outside world will repair what on the inside. If you want your relationship to work, relationship, there'll be trials and tribulations. There'll be so many, your, your relationship will be tested. 
That's part of it. When you when your life is being tested, like right now, there are so many pains around the world through the virus. So many challenges. And that is part of life. We, our lives is being tested. Those are the trials of tribulation, the, the accusations of cheating, conflicts. There will be jealousy. The sparks is fading, lost. Settling for less. Not knowing some people, not knowing their worthiness, not relationship, or not knowing your worthy, not knowing who you are, not spending time together, allowing the noise of the world to enter in your relationship, causing destruction. You watch, you see people on social media. They are posting their pictures on holiday with their spouse. You are like, why can't we do this? Do what? Remember, you have your own book of life. Just because your friend has been on holiday doesn't mean you have to be on holiday. You have to, you have to do what you think is right for your relationship. Don't allow the noise of the world competing with each other. Letting people tell you how to live your life. Selfishness. Some people are selfish in relationships. It's all about me, me, me. You didn't do this for me. You enter a relationship to save and to receive. Complaining about your lover. Ignoring your emotions. And their emotions, ignoring your wants. Accepting what the world gives us, that destroys the relationship. I can't tell you, I'm a, I'm a love harmonist, I'm a matchmaker, I have a matchmaking introduction agency. But I can't tell you, as a matchmaker, I can't tell you how to live your life. I can tell, I can give you tips of what works. I can help you to create your image. When you create your image, that is the most critical component for you to be who you want to be. When you create your image, you go on dates. I don't have to tell you don't wear this. Obviously, you don't wear, uh, you're not going to wear suits. Obviously, you're not going to wear something that shows off your boobs. If you are going on, on your own dates, so first date, you know that you want that person to respect you in every dress, whatever, the clothes that you wear, they speak life, they speak your character. So you're not going to, it's a common sense. So as a love harmonist and a matchmaker, I can't tell you what to wear. I'm not that kind of a matchmaker, but I have consulted images. If you go to my website, I have consulted images within the company, but they don't suggest this is what you should wear. They help you create your own image. When you create your image, you know that this is my style. But if a, a, a image consultant, they say, okay, this is your body, you should be wearing this, that's not you. It's not going to make you happy. They are creating their own style and putting it on you, which is a lie. So everything that I do in life is the image that I created myself. So I want my clients to be the same, to create their own image. I give you tips of things to avoid when going on dates. Things to avoid when you are in a relationship. When you, when you create a character, you say, I'm looking for a relationship. I'm entering a relationship. You create principles in that character. So those principles cannot be violated because they have been created by you. And you in, in, that, in those principles, you know what I'm going to wear. When you have an image consultant, all you go to do is an image consultant, they act as a friend who is honest, who takes you out, <laughs> who choose what you want to wear, and they, they help you until you make a decision. They use a psychology and they help you until you make a decision. You call the shows. But if you have an image consultant that says, okay, this is what I do. 
I'm going to create an image for you. What I believe is good for you. What I believe is good for you because you are this color. It's going to fit this color. It's going to fit you or this thing. When you go on a date, man, you're going to look at you and go, voila, that's fake. So when you create an image, when you walk, that image speaks of who you are. When you wear a dress, when you wear a clothing, a name, those clothing, they speak what you are. They speak on the inside. Your character is your character. When you are married, your clothing, your communication, your character speaks of who you are inside of you. So that's, that's how I work. I don't, I'm not a matchmaking or a love harmonist that says, okay, this is what works for me. What worked for me, it might not work for you. I might think that it worked for you, but it might not. Everyone is different. Or the only thing I do is I help my clients create their own image. I don't tell them what to behave because if I tell you what to behave, when you're on a date, all you'll be thinking is the what Nomsa said. Nomsa asked me to behave like this. I tell you the things to, to avoid. You, if you work on your image, your confidence, how you communicate, how you send a message across, it will bring you joy when you go out, you are speaking. It will be the one, you, are, you will be the one that is speaking to that person. But if I sit down here and I coach you and I say, you don't do this on dates. This, this, this. I have to. We have to work together. Basically, I have to use my psychology on you to make sure that you actually embrace your character. And when you step outside, you are that stumbling block that is standing in your way is being broken. If you want your relationship to, to work, ask yourself if you were watching. If you were watching your life in the movie, would you follow you? If the answer is yes, then form the attitude, the character that goes with that, the image. If the answer is not, form the attitude. That can help you to watch the movie that you have created in your relationship. If you were on social media and your your profile, you actually get out, get pull yourself out of the profile and you watch the movie on that profile, what you post on that profile. It's easy for somebody to say, have courage, have hope. But if you were watching that movie, would you actually, would you follow you on social media? If you were watching the movie, you being a follower, would you follow you? That's how life works. If you want a relationship to work, you have to build a character that it has to align with what you want for your relationship to work, whether it's a business. Desmond O'Connor is my business coach. I have to respect him as my business coach. My character has to align with what you want. Even if things don't go my way, that means I still have to respect him. Knowing that no one is perfect, I still have to respect him. My character has to speak for me. When a good character is built, it will attract loyalty in that relationship. When a character is built, that means you have agreed with yourself to commit to your values, which is your relationship vows. When values are broken in relationship, that means you lose trust. Character present the standards you've set for your relationship in your life. Your standards are the critical component for your relationship to work. Because you have created those standards in your life. This is how I want my life to be. And this is what I'm going to get. You want your life to be. You have standards in your relationship. You don't have rules. Rules destroys relationship. Your, your characters, your character in my relationship 
is the critical component for your relationship to work. It will help you, your relationship to grow. Jesus Christ, he has his own standards in the Bible. The Ten Commandments. If you want to enter, he says, if you want to enter my kingdom, you have to obey my commandments. That means do not steal. Do not tell lies. Treat somebody as you would like them to treat you, how you want to be treated. So he says you have to be loyal, unconditional love. The, the Ten Commandments, there's a list of Ten Commandments. That's what he requires for you to enter his kingdom. What are your standards that you have put in place in your marriage, in your life? Business, contacts, connections. Do you have standards in place? Do you have principles in place that cannot be violated? If you have principles in place that cannot be violated, that means your relationship has a good foundation, not rules. Your marriage depends on your character, not your talent or gifts, not your looks. I can be as beautiful as I think I am, but what comes out of my mouth, if it's wrong, that's not a character for marriage. You have to have a good character. You have to have principles in place, how you want to be treated. You want to enter Nkosi Nomsa, Nkosi's talk show, or Nomsa Clara Nube's life. You want to be part of my business connections. You want to be part of my social media. You obey my principles. They are rules that cannot be crossed. I'm not saying you have to be nasty. You're not a kind person. If you look at all these billionaires, they have rules in place. That's why they are billionaires. They put rules in place. When they get up in the morning, is there things that they don't do, there are things that they do that would take them to the next level where they want to be. And that would keep them there. So uh, you as a human being, you have to have principles, you have to have your character has to align to what you desire in life. You want to go up to the next level, your relationship to be in the next level, you have to have a character and you have to live in that character. In your relationship. You have to live in that character. When you, are, when you are building a good character for your relationship, it means you have, you're gonna have to let go of some things that don't serve you. Friends that don't serve you. Places that don't serve you. Let go of some friends, let go of the things you shouldn't be doing. Let go of some people, even in business. You have to let go of some things. If you want to lead your life, how you want to be. You have to enter the spirit of love to serve in that relationship, not to tell. You serve, you, you enter the spirit of love, understand your queen, your king, relate to their world. When I'm saying relate, relate to what they feel for. Sympathize with that person. Emotional. Relate, sympathize, and then you connect to it. You give. You also understand the character of receiving. Some people like to give. It doesn't work if you are just a giver. You have to have a character of receiving. Allow yourself to receive. Allow yourself to be loved. Don't seek popularity. The principles of your characters may upset some people. It is okay. You don't have to be popular with people. Jesus didn't seek popularity. He put his principles in place, his Ten Commandments. You follow my Ten Commandments. 
for you are going to be Lucifer's child, which is the devil. So that, that's how it is with your, princi your principles. You don't seek popular popularity. You don't like what you see. You don't like me as a person. Why should I try so hard to please you? Why should I be something that I'm not? A character is a character that does not change. People say, okay, when somebody enters my life, they upset me, they do this, they do this, they do this, they have to change. A character, a good character doesn't change. It's stable. It never changes. It gets bad days. It doesn't change. It remains stable. It stays the same. When it's presented by temptation, it never changes. When I mean by, what do I mean by temptation? Money. If you are in a, in a relationship, if you want your relationship to see how, if your relationship is stable, test a man or a woman, give them loads of money. They stay the same. That means they are following their principles. When they have lots of money, that means they can be tempted to do things that they shouldn't be doing in their relationship. Give them power. When you give a woman power or a man power, they break the relationship principles because they have power. They are untouchable. That's what they think. They are untouchable. But that's not true. That's not true. Give them sex. Tempt them with sex. Bring a good looking woman or a good looking man with uh, muscles. They'll be tempted. But if they're not tempted, that means they're stable. Their character is stable. Those are the three, three things that you can test a human being sex you bring a good looking woman to them if they are not attracted to that they, when a man or a woman has been in a marriage in a relationship they've gone trials and tribulations you can attend to them with their bringing up your boobs and do that they're not going to be tempted because they know what they've been through and they know what the relationship is about it's not a game. It's not a game that somebody will come in here and I say, honey, I'm attracted to somebody else. That's not a game. Even if you give them power, they don't change. The character is built, that is stable. It doesn't change. You give them money, they don't change. They want to build their lives more and more and more. They want to love their families more and more. That's for me today, guys. I love you guys. And uh, please share my video. If you like my video, you can share it with your network and live with grace. If you want to get in touch with the Nomsa Clara Move Hope Springs Eternal Introduction Agency, you can go to our website, www.hsea.com. So if you are based in South Africa, Kenya, Zambia, Brazil, and all over Europe. That's where, that's, those are the areas that we cover. So you can go and register to our agency if you are single and join our agency. You fill out an application form, then it will get back to you. If you, if you fit the criteria, the criteria of what we are looking for. We're looking for women and men who have characters. Whether you have money, it doesn't mean that it will take you because I have to be stuck with you for one year for your membership. So I, I work with the characters. If you have a good character and you feel that I can work with Nomsa, you will have fun together. I'm, 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 I'm lovely. I'm a lovely person. And my team, they are, they're amazing people. So you, you, you enjoy spending time with us. We have fun together. The only thing is we are nosy. We have to meet you in person. We don't just meet you. We have to meet you in person. We have to 
build a relationship. For us to meet you, we have to understand your desires and your wants. That's what, that's what we do. So you can go to our website and register if you are single and uh, we'll get in touch with you once we receive your application form. Women, they join for free. Men are our clients. Women are members. So please, I will see you tomorrow. And David, I'll see you tomorrow on Gossy Talk Show. I love you guys. Live with grace. <laughs>